Okay. Buford and what's your last name? Button. B O. B B U N T I O. B U N T. Okay. This is this is called uh, Ima. This is about my grandmother. Great. In the evening, Ima Melissa Briers exercises her rocker out on the porch of the house she lives in with her daughter's family. There's a cool br breeze blowing, she tells herself. Better get myself in. Lightning hits you quicker than a jackrabbit when you're outside. Thunder rumbles. The old woman gets up from her rocker, letting it propel her to a standing position. In the house, clothes taken care of, she reaches inside the floor-level floor kitchen cabinet for the biggest frying pan in there. Lord, it sure is hot cooking on this stove. I wish those youngins' daddy would put some air conditioning in this house. She plomps in her uh, house slippers over to the General Electric refrigerator, opens it fast. The chicken she takes out smells like fresh from the wild. Ima doesn't believe in food getting cold. Into the oil-filled pan plops uh, the chicken, crackling as she eases it onto the iron. She hates her grease to pot. Ima ladles out the food that her grandchildren crunch and make disappear as it hits their plates. Big Mama, Ima's eight-year-old granddaughter, Melissa, shouts, you cook everything as good as your homemade biscuits. Ima, floppy elbows, arms, and hands moving faster than any Kentucky Fried cook, spreads her mouth wide and laughs from way down low. Uh -huh. <laughs> this, is, this is called Daddy Says. In the photograph, I stand on the beach waving one-year-old fuzzy blonde hair blowing in the hot summer air. My father holds me up. His hands grasp my shoulders, cigarette dangling from his lips, fishing cap on. He is the age I am now. This year I turn 35. His belly folds under poking out ribs. Now he's covered in thick brown fat. fat. He turns 70 today, can no longer run on the beach to catch me if I run away. In two months I'll be 35. His polka dot swim trunks, lousy blown by the wind, look so corny to me, what he would call loud. He holds, him, he holds me there by the shoulders. I had just been born a little gray. I, this year I turned 35. In the picture, he looks so much like I look now. His shiny, even teeth, rows of clean pearlies are now missing, gone. In the picture, he grins, the proud father whose precocious son talked early, thought soon. When he, telephone, when he telephones across country now and tells me that I should drop my life and come to his side to help him run his fishing tackle shop, I make one polite excuse or another, but I wish I could say, Dad, Dad, this birthday I'm going to be 35. Dad, the beach is mine now. I wish I could say, when are you going to let me walk it by myself? My father sits silent on the other end of the phone, holding. Uh,